Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP laptop. This one is HP Pavilion Gaming 15-EC model. And in this video I'm gonna go over how you can install your Windows on your HP laptop. This can apply for any HP laptop series so it doesn't have to be EC series or HP 15. All the HP they use the same BIOS. And I made a video how to create your Windows 10 USB boot drive or Windows 11. Those links can be found on my window, uh, my video description. But in this video, I'm just gonna go over showing you guys how you can install your Windows uh, on your the proper way on your HP laptop. It's very important to you follow the steps if you want to get the extra performance and you don't want to get those extra bloat words, bloat word that comes in the Windows. So it's really easy. All you need to do is to grab your Windows uh, USB drive. You want to plug into any of the USB port and let me see if it's going to focus in here. So pretty much what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to power on the laptop. As you power on, you want to tap on escape. I have removed the battery and plugged it in. So it might tell me that CMOS is reset to default. Let me see. Yeah, the CMOS is reset to default. So I'm going to press enter and then I'm going to keep tapping on escape until i see a menu that says f1 f2 there we go f1 f2 f9 f10 so we're going to choose f9 for boot menu f9 and from the menu list we're going to choose your usb drive so we're going to be using a choosing a usb hard drive kingston minus kingston we're going to press enter now that's going to take us to the uh, windows installation process so I'll put it on this angle so it doesn't reflect the light. I might want to clean up the screen maybe. But that's fine. So yeah. So now in the first menu in here we're going to see the your language everything else. You just want to click next. Don't want to change anything. And you want to click install right in the middle. And you just want to wait until you get to the next step. Alright I cleaned up as much as I could. Now we are in the next step, we're going to click I accept the terms and licensing, click next. And in here you want to choose the custom install on the bottom one, on the bottom option right here. You don't want to click on upgrade, custom. And then down here, if you have two hard drives like the one in, in this laptop, there's an SSD 500 gig and one terabyte mechanical drive. Pretty much what you want to do, you want to erase everything. So you might have even more partitions in here. You want to click on every partition and click on delete button right in here until everything gets deleted and you're left with drive zero and drive one in your case you might only have drive zero or drive one doesn't matter but you want to have both of these drives once you click on them you want to see the delete button on gray mode on the second one it's on gray so i can't delete anymore so you want to choose where you want to install your windows in this case i'm going to choose my 500 gig nvme m.2 drive click on that and click next you don't want to click new just click next and that should be all now it's just going to install it and it's going to take you to a, a welcome screen so pretty much it's just a copying file getting files ready installing features and upgrades and it's going to finish up and it's going to restart it might restart a couple of times before you get to the welcome menu so I'm just gonna let this one run until I get to the welcome menu. You see, it literally didn't even take like a three, four minutes. It's already doing its own first restart. You can either click manually, just let it time round, time out, and it's gonna restart. And it's gonna take you to a another process of the welcome and you're going to choose few options these options are really really important you want to make sure that you do not uh, connect to any wi-fi or your cable internet or anything like that do not connect to an internet i'll let you know why in a bit otherwise you're going to get all those bloat words installed right away so it says getting your stuff ready to let it do its own thing now, when it's going to ask you to connect to a Wi-Fi or anything like that, we're just going to click that I don't have a Wi-Fi connection and limited options. Yeah. 
All right, once you get the Cortana, you probably don't get a Cortana. If you get a Cortana, just click on a mute on Cortana on the bottom left side. Once you click mute on the Cortana, it's just going to go to manual mode. So just wait a second and it's going to go to a next step. And now it's going to choose your uh, region. Just click US or whatever region that you are in and click yes. Now in here it says keyboard layout. If you have a different keyboard, lay keyboard layout, change it. But if not, click yes. You can change this later on in the control panel anyway. And in here you want to add a secondary keyboard, click escape. Now it says your network, connect to a network. You want to click in this link right here on the left. I don't have an internet. Just click on that. That's very important. Click on continue with a limited uh, setup. You don't want to add extra. Now you want to remove, put the name for the laptop, HP, press enter. Don't put any password for now if you don't want or you want to just put your password. If not, just leave it blank, press enter. This next step, you want to remove all the checks from here. Remove all the checks because those are your locations, everything like that. Remove all those checks and click I accept. And next one, just click not now, the Cortana to help you get things done. Click not now. And that should be all. Now it's gonna take you to a desktop. And the first thing you go, you wanna do in the desktop before connecting to internet, downloading the updates and the drivers, everything like that automatically. You wanna go to the start menu. So let's wait to get to the desktop. All right, now that we are in the desktop, what you want to do before connecting to internet, you want to go to the start menu. And all these arrows that you see, there's a whole bunch in there. You want to right click on every arrow and you want to right click and click on pin from start. You want to do this for every one of them. On the, if you do this whole box, it's going to remove all of them inside there. Unpin, unpin everything through here. So pretty much these are like a, a promotion affiliated Avas antivirus, all those Candy Crush, everything else is in here. And pretty much they're just sitting there waiting for an internet connection so they can get downloaded right away. So pretty much you want to remove all that. And after that, you can connect to an internet. Then you can go to settings, start menu, settings. And then you do Windows and update and security on the bottom and do your Windows update. It might take a little, uh, about 20 minutes to download and install all the drivers, everything like that. It's going to do it automatically. And that's how you install your Windows 10 on your HP laptop. If you guys have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.